For patients with celiac disease like Jane Davies, the only treatment is to completely avoid food with gluten, a substance found in wheat, rye, barley and oats. And while there are gluten-free foods available, it's still a challenge. When we go out for dinner at a restaurant, I always have to ring beforehand and and check that they have some gluten-free options. A couple of years ago, researchers at Melbourne's Walter and Eliza Hall Institute discovered which part of gluten was causing the toxic reaction in celiac patients. Now they've turned that into a vaccine treatment. The aim of the vaccine is to switch off the abnormal response to gluten seen in celiac disease. The vaccine is designed to desensitise the patients so their bodies can cope with gluten. They hope the treatment will restore the ability of the small intestine to absorb nutrients in the normal way. That would mean the end of a gluten-free diet. Having a vaccine that will allow people to return to a normal gluten-containing diet will be uh, a world first and a huge breakthrough and significantly enhance the life of people with celiac disease. Researchers will trial the vaccine on 40 patients with celiac disease. That will tell them whether the vaccine is safe and if there are any side effects. If the trial, everything works out, uh, we should be able to eat normally again and that will just make our lives so much easier. For patients like Jane Davies, to have more choice can't come soon enough. Sophie Scott, ABC News.